All right, guys, this is a quick, hopefully quick video of how we change our furniture on an AK-47. So backstory, about two years ago, we picked up this Palmetto State Armory GF3 Mokov. I only picked it up because it was on sale. It is a blem, could not find the blem on there, but I bought it because it was cheap, but I never really liked the furniture. So with that said, I wanted to, this satin safe. I, I just, I was like, ah, I don't really like it. I don't like the feel of it. We're, you know, I, I really wanted a plum AK-47. So instead of me buying a whole other gun, I decided to go the cheaper route and I went with Palmetto State Armory's plum furniture. So this was $59.99, shipped within two days and it's a polymer and it does have the buttstock with the trap door. And we have the hand guard and the gas block top. We have the pistol grip. And of course it comes with the hardware. So we're gonna put this aside for now and we're gonna go back to, oh boy. And we're gonna go back to the GF3 blem so there are some tools that you're going to need to take this stuff off and we're going to lay them out here i'm not going to go through each one but we have our mallet i have a wrench i have a and a screwdriver okay that's all we should need for this so how do we go all this stuff off because I did actually have to watch some tutorials myself to get the items off here, but we're gonna go through, so hopefully it's easy for anybody else that's trying to knock this out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disassemble the rifle. I hate doing this on camera, but you do get those comments. How do you know the gun was clear? It is the gun, it's clear, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is remove the dust cover. We're gonna put that aside. Spring, that's dirty, okay? And what we're gonna do is, there's a lever right here, okay? We're gonna flip that lever up for the gas tube and we are going to pop it right off. We'll put this aside for now because we're gonna need the wrench to uh, get that out. And then the next thing we're gonna do is remove the hand guard right here. So what you'll see is right here is a little notch. We're gonna just take a regular flathead screwdriver. We're gonna pop that latch up. Boom, there it is. And we're gonna put that aside. So this notch, this right here is gonna sit up here, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get off this shoulder stock right here. And where is my screwdriver? So there is on these Mokov stocks right here, there is a little button, which actually I have to kind of go like this. You pull that in, this comes off, throw that on the side. And then with our Allen key, we're gonna take, there's two screws and those should come right out. Now, when you're taking this off, be careful because there are these two little washers that pop out. So there's, you're gonna put these screws aside in case we need them for the new furniture, even though I do not believe we're going to. But we're gonna be very careful as to not lose any of the screws. So there's the other one. We're gonna put that aside. And there's the two washers. Here's your buttstock right here. Washers, screws. We're gonna put those aside safely. And of course, the last thing we wanna do is take off the pistol grip. And we are going to, on, a, on these Magpul jammies, if I can get it, there is a little trap door that I always have a freaking problem with. Oh, come on, you bitch. 
Hold on, let me see if I can get this off. Maybe with the Allen key. There we go. Nope, oh, son of a gun, man. There we go. So there's the trap door. And you'll see down in here. So it's set for an, an Allen key, but I don't have one long enough, but it does also take a flathead. And what we're gonna do is, is also, so be careful on taking the pistol grip off as well, because there is a piece that you are going to need for the new pistol grip, almost there. This you'll see out of everything we just did, this and the gas tube is probably the most, oh, okay, so there it is. There's your pistol grip, put it aside. And then this right here, you're, I believe we're gonna need that. So we're gonna put that right there. So there is your naked 47, haha. <laughs> okay, so here's the gas block. And this usually seems to be the hardest part of getting this off. So what I like to use is a three quarter right here. I get this in here. Okay, check this out. We're gonna go the other way. You turn it, boom, done. That was very simple. There's your gas block. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, remember, you don't wanna lose that. We're gonna need that screwdriver. Now we're gonna actually start put, piecing out everything for our plum. So there's your plum butt stock. Here's your pistol grip. And here's your gas tube and your hand guard right there. So, what do we wanna do first? Well, because we already have this out, I think what we're gonna do is get this on first. Make sure we put it on the right way too because we don't wanna screw that up. So that's gonna go on like that, but we have to go. So we're gonna... It said there might be some minor fitting, and you know what, oh, there we go, okay. So we got it on, okay? So now we're gonna do the same thing with our three quarter inch. We're gonna go in, right? It's gonna go right on there. And hopefully we can twist. Oh, that's, all right, so that has to go in there, but I'm, hold on, we don't wanna break anything either. I know, I'm sure there's, you mother. Okay, we're in. And of course, I'm sure there's easier ways than using this, but this is unfortunately all I have right now. And then, yeah, that's gonna go, ultimately that's gonna go right there. So for the hand guard, it's gonna be the same thing. So there's, if you look right under here, there's the notch, there's your notch. This is where our mallet, might come into play. So, I don't know how durable this furniture is, but we're gonna find out, right? That should go right in, in theory, right? Let's see. I know there's somebody watching this right now going, it's so simple, why are you making it more difficult? There we go, we're in. Okay, and then what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna line up that notch, all right? You wanna make sure that this is lined up properly also. So that has to go flush. And then you wanna, uh, don't, you don't wanna, uh, remember, taking the mallet lightly, lightly hitting it because that does have to lock down in there. Let's see, do I have anything else that I can use so we don't, I don't want to hit metal on metal. I have plastic right here. So you want to get that notch back down. There it is, okay, so that notch is in, guys. And then you're gonna take your gas tube. You want to make sure this is up all the way. So when you go in, It's in, just don't like that gap. It doesn't look like my other ones. We're gonna, 
look into that. But let's keep going, right? I'm sure you guys will be um, yelling and screaming the whole time. All right, so for the uh, buttstock, it should slide right in. And there shouldn't be, whoops, this is where the mallet comes in, we're lightly. There you go, lightly in there. It's on. But what we do now is we're gonna use the hardware. And this came with two of these. And of course, so I just realized I do not have my Phillips head screwdriver. So I'm gonna to have to run up and get one. Screws are lined up and these guys are gonna go right in here. I just need to get my Phillips head. So if you guys could be so kind as to wait here, I'll be right, actually, could I use the, f no. All right, let me get my Phillips head. Give me one moment. Okay, so I don't suggest you guys do this, but I'm gonna assume the risk or I'm going to accept the risk. So we're gonna just, we're gonna lightly go in. You don't wanna strip this. Again, I don't suggest you go this route. Okay, but that is in. I would hand screw that. Okay, so that is done right there. And next is going to be this pesky hand grip and I can only imagine, or pistol grip, and I can only imagine what trouble this is going to give me. So it comes with it and this is going to go, boom, up there, right? <laughs> I might actually stop this and do it off camera. So, you have, for, for this piece over here, where are you? You have, it has to be, it's angled, right? So the pistol grip is angled. So you want it to be angled with the pistol grip. So here is, it's going in the same direction which would be that way towards the buttstock. So we wanna put it in this way. And what we're gonna do is drop this in. So this is where I like to take this Allen key that will fit in and I like to use it as a guide. And you might have to do it a couple of times, but we got it in on the first time right there. Okay, and then we're gonna take, ugh, this is the worst part. So you wanna get this lined up. And again, this might be done off camera. We're going in guys. Okay, so we got in a little bit. Of course we want to line it up. And that pistol grip looks like it doesn't want to go in. But again, everything is to be fitted, right? I mean, it says you might need a little bit of fitment, but I'm actually surprised that this all fit as well as it did. So we are connected. You know what I'm gonna do? No, that's not gonna work. So this might have to be actually fitted, but I'm gonna see if I push it down a little more or screw it down a little more. If it, oh, there's my serial number, guys. Uh-oh. Actually, it is going in itself without any fitment. So this, this right here, guys, if, if you're looking to change out your furniture, Palmetto, if you have a Palmetto State AK, this was the way to go because we, look at this, we, we threw everything together. Oh, that's in there. That is in there. Look at that. That's plum furniture right there, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what a, and it's lighter than the Mokov. So let's get this back together and we will, actually I gotta get a magazine for this, huh? Yeah, I've only put through maybe 200 or so rounds through this. It's a nice, nice gun, nice rifle. But yes, I wanted a plum, but I didn't want to buy another gun. So we ended up going this route, which just 
seemed the cheaper way or the cheaper alternative because I wasn't shooting it anyway because I wasn't a big fan. I wasn't a big fan of the uh, of the furniture. Oh, okay, so here, this is a thing you're gonna run into. This screw has to be more flush or you're not gonna get that recoil spring down. So again, at my own risk, I'm pushing this down. There you go. See how it's below it now? Because you want this recoil spring to be able to come back. Interestingly enough, I guess this is exposed back here, which with the tang, so that's cool. We might actually hit that again and make sure, even though I know we're not gonna have an issue. Yeah, we're not gonna, we don't wanna strip that, guys, so we're gonna leave that where it is. Okay. Yeah, I all, again, I suggest hand tightening. Boom, there it is, look at that. Do a function test. All right, let me go get that awesome plum magazine that I got. I'll be right back again. All right, yeah, the uh, GoPro battery died, of course, right? So I picked up this plum magazine at a gun show because it was a couple of bucks cheaper than online. So let's see if this actually completes the package. Come on, sit in there, baby. We're in. Okay, so there it is, guys. There is your GF3 Palmetto State Armory with plum furniture transformed from a Mokov. If I had to give a any type of, you know, what I dislike about it, this right here, definitely the uh, gas tube and hand guard. They don't seem to be meeting, but I, I, how I'd like it. But again, hey, listen, this is an AK, right? And there's supposed to be flaws. But I believe I saved a couple of bucks by going $60 as opposed to buying a whole other gun, even though we're gonna do that anyway, right? So there you go, guys. This is how you change your furniture on a AK-47 or a AKM specifically for Palmetto State Armory. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, bitches, gripes, complaints, please leave a comment below. Like and subscribe, share the video, guys, and see you on the next one. Galactic Force Media out.